Howdy y'all, this is Jared with Floaty Lick Homestead and uh, we're going to cook us some soup beans today. This is pinto beans, we call them soup beans here. And uh, I got a pound of them here in this bowl. And uh, they're dry beans, these are just a uh, Walmart brand I believe. Um, there's a couple different brands we use, some of them are better than others, seem like. But I'm going to get them soaking for laking the cook later. And uh, I'm going to go through here and pick out all the bad first. Like, uh, there's a little old piece of one. And there's some that's real black. That's normally you'll see. And I pick all those out. Here's a bad one. See that? And if I can get the focus on it. That and just kind of uh, shrivelly and black looking. And I, I don't think I'd want to eat it. Here's one that's got a bug hole in it and a little bad place. So we're going to dig them all out that's bad looking. That don't look real good. <clears throat> I'd like to grow some pinto beans this year. If i got room and think about it, well, I may try to plant a few. Here's a little old bad one. So I'm going to dig these out right here. And then uh, we'll get them soaking. Alrighty, I got all my bad beans picked out. And uh, now we're just going to give them a little wash. And you can see them little, there's a few little things floated up. Rinse them off a little bit, and then uh, once I do that, I'm going to fill this up with water and let them soak for a few hours before we cook them. I see any more bad ones here, I'll pick them out. It takes take quite a bit of water because they'll swell up and suck it up fast. So you can check them, and if they're sucked up all the water, you can add a little more. That'd probably be good for probably a little too much. Alright, I'm just going to let these sit here on the counter for a few hours and then uh, we'll get them cooking later. Alright, you can see my beans here. It's been soaking for a couple hours and they have swelled up three times their size. So I'm going to get them in the cooker now and get them cooking. So I'm going to drain the water off these and put them in the cooker and I'll show you what I add to them to make them taste good. Alrighty, I got my beans in the cooker. This is a six quart cooker, and uh, I got I had a pound of beans, and uh, I got it looks like I got water up to the four quart mark, and uh, they'll still grow, so they'll use a lot of water, and then some will evaporate. But I'll cook them with a lid on them, and uh, get them up. To, uh, we'll cook them for probably two hours at a boil, and now to make them taste good. What I got here is uh, I got a big piece of salt pork, and I'm gonna cut. I cut me about four slabs of that salt pork off there. We're gonna put them in there, and then I've got me a spoon of lard. And this is just regular old Morel snow cap lard, and uh, that should do it. And that about 15 minutes before they're done, we'll go and we'll salt them good and taste them. Get them as salty as you like them. I don't think they're no good without salt. So. Alrighty, our beans have been on for a while now. and I had to add some more water to them. They'd uh, cooked uh, away probably a little over a quart of water. And I added uh, some more water to them, and uh, they're coming back up to a bowl. It didn't take them but just a, about 30 seconds to get back to a bowl. And uh, we're going to just keep letting them cook. They got about 35 more minutes to go, I'd say. And uh, they're smelling really good. 
So we'll give them just a little bit more and then we'll uh, check them to see if they've uh, boiled down. You don't want them to boil them dry and burn them. And then we'll have to salt them too. Alrighty, and here we have our finished soup beans. Um, there towards the end, like I said, I salted them real good. It takes a lot of salt for a bean because they soak it up. And uh, you can't have uh, soup beans or pinto beans without a good uh, piece of cornbread. And also, I keep a jar of chow chow around. And uh, I'm out of my homemade, but this is just a store bought southern style chow chow. You can get it in spicy too. And it's real good. Put you a spoonful of that in there with your cornbread. And it makes a fine meal. And you can make about any side you want with it. We usually have it with like fried potatoes, mustard greens, sauerkraut, pickled corn, um, such stuff like that. But that's how we do it. You see it's got a nice juice on it. And these are mighty, mighty good any day of the week. But just wanted to show you how we do it. This is one of our staple meals. We eat this probably once a week. So, uh, hope you learned how to make you some soup beans. So, get you some and cook them, and you'll sure be glad you did. Thank you all for watching. Have a very blessed day.